everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue, Daniel and the Lion's Den. Let's read. We have the update, wait. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captive. <laughs> they destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jewish to their own country, Babylon. So God's people disobeyed God again, so God let their enemy to take them. <laughs> I have a cough. And they carry away many of the Jewish. And in there, there was also Daniel. What? Daniel? Wait a minute. Yeah, Daniel. Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day to bless Daniel. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was what? very wise and he was a leader and he was very a powerful leader because God blessed Daniel um, Daniel like prayed every day three times a day so like, God blessed Daniel <laughs> We have found the Bible then. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's den. Darius agreed. So like some leaders were jealous of Daniel. So like they decided to They decided to make a new rule and they can throw into the lion's bed. So uh, so they were like seeing very many very many like they're trying to find Daniel's fault, but they were like nothing. So, but they saw that Daniel was praying to God three times at the day. Question: God blessed Daniel and made him powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed to God. So he was arrested. Doris was dead because he liked Daniel. He realized he had been tricked, but couldn't change the rule. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. So Daniel still 
pray to God. And he was arrested. But the king couldn't like change the rule. Because if you change the rule, like the people would say, but you have saved him because he he was Daniel. Like that. But it's unfair, like someone else would do that then you are like thrown into the lion's death so like that the lions roared and prayed up to daniel when an angel arrived i was uh, oh sorry it was god who sent him the angel shut the lion's mouth daniel spent the night there um hard so he have gone to the lion's dead, but look, Daniel knew knows that it is not a wrong thing. So and also God also knows. So like God sent an angel for Daniel. Was Daniel arrested and thrown into the lion's dead because he prayed to God? Yes. At daybreak, Jurus went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me. Daniel said, the king was throwing. Daniel was pulled out of the bed. So, like, Doris was, like, very, like, not comfortable because of Daniel. Because Daniel was, like, friendly with the king. And he was not feeling good. And like, also he couldn't eat or drink, even sleep. <laughs> Daniel was alive, so Daniel was her dad. <laughs> then King Doris had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions grumbled them hot. King Duras told everyone he is and his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. So Daniel was alive and like thrown into and his enemies that with wise men. He was jealous of Daniel and made the new role. Because of Daniel was all thrown into the lion's bed. And this time, lions grumble up. <laughs> and God, the king said, like, believe the living, powerful, powerful living God, Daniel's God. The true God. You found <laughs> we have found the Bible then. Peace. Question When Daniel was thrown into the lion's dead, God's angel protect him from what kind of animal? Number three, the lion. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Then next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!